So you want to do dread threes, but your gear is not dreadnought, and uh, you want to make it equal a dreadnought. So the equivalence list is here: six crit rate to three power, two uh, attack speed, and 0.5 CDR through PVP attack, meaning uh, like a griefing circ. When 62 base mod, that's kind of like the exam. It's kind of like the base on a ring. See, it has the attack modifier of 162. Then for defense, the equivalence is 2 endurance to 5 crit resist, and then it's 2% HP, or 1115 HP. 1 1.6 PvP defense, that's kind of, that's like a indom. 162 base mod, which is like a bell. 2080. Then these are sets of a perfect reaper with a uh, quick carve breach, two crit rate jewelry sets, crit resists, two etchings, energetic twos. This would be your base attack power, your bonus attack power, which would be this is the base, this is the bonus, and then base bonus for defense. Then the total is when you add them together. Then the cooldown reduction would be from the weapon roll and the two energetics. The crit rate, uh, crit rate base 52 from just being a reaper, plus the bonus, the attack speed base plus the bonus, the crit resist plus the bonus, and then the HP bonus. This is from having two earrings rolled for max HP. But uh, how did I find these? I did uh, a bunch of math. Okay, if you want to look at them, I'll have the links gonna be in the description. So, here's the master calculator. So, let's say, okay, let's put a reverse dreadnought weapon in. Eight, nine, four, six. All the plus values modified, and we're going to be looking at the plus 12 bonus. So let's say we're using a, yeah let's say we're using a dreadnought weapon for reaper. That's the base, and then the bonus for my 3% masterwork is 348. And note it does affect the attack power and everything else. Looks like the map on this one's wrong. Okay, seems like you put it in the wrong place, so you gotta put the bonus there. Then it affects that, and it changes your base attack power. And that's how I got the totals. But uh, here's the one that's already done for the base, the attack. The base attack is from down here in this list. And then let's say I want to do a priest, which I'll do right now. Easily make a copy. The attack doesn't really matter much since the priest is going to do damage, so I'm not going to do that. So for a dreadnought chest, then the gloves boot. Three oh four. Masterwork bonus one three two three. Oh, oops, that's a that's a plus nine, not plus twelve. Then for boots and gloves.
And then what's the base on the jewelry? 726 and 705. And then three seven nine. Then what's the base endurance of my class? I can check the list actually. Priest endurance one sixty or er, sixty three regular. And then what's the bonus endurance? For that, I can go by looking at uh, my character and seeing how much extra endurance I have c compared to an a reaper, or not a reaper, a uh, priest. So let's see, I have 8 endurance from that. I'm missing 5 endurance from the stat set, so I have plus 3 at the moment. Then let's see, do I have anything else that's giving me extra endurance? Check the item rolls to see if uh, that's giving him anything else. I do have endurance in my boots and endurance on my gloves, so that's correct. Okay, so I'm getting no extra endurance from that. Just there, so I have plus 3 above what I should, which is, and then my current is 42, so I have 39. So this should be my base defense total. Oh yeah, let's do crit resist as well. So I'm gonna have to look at the this. Okay, so this isn't master worked. Right. There's no crit resist on these boots. There's total HP, which is we both have total HP. We both have the same PvP defense. He has no crit resist factor on those. We have the same power. So I have plus 15 from that. Oh yeah, then I have an etching 3 instead of an etching 2. But uh, I don't know how much an etching 2 gives. Okay, 6 power, 4. I think it's like 16, but uh, I'll double check. But uh, while doing that, I have one on the chest as well, so I'll just go to seeing what stats are different here. Um, the base. Well, I guess I can't look at the chest. I have to wait to finish looking at the etchings. Not energy. Unyielding. Yeah, it's 12. Okay, so I have plus 8 from that. So, but I have two of them, so I have plus 16. I'm gonna do. I might do mid life afterwards. Uh, yeah, I will do mid life afterwards and show the difference for that. Oh wait, I have plus eight from the plus eight from the chest or from the boots being plus uh, three. A then 
my crit resist. Oh, we don't have one on the chest. So I'm missing 12, so that's negative 4. Let's look at chest. I have curves is 24. You have 21, so I have plus 3. Next is gloves. Oh, they don't have PvP defense. And they have power rolled instead, oh. Okay, so I found six endurance that I had over Dreadnought. So I have 14 above what I should for crit resist. The HP bonus is 8% from the earrings. Okay, so now we have to look at the X rolls that I have compared to that and uh, the crit resist slash defense that I have over that. So, what's my defense? 20. Okay, so I have 7k defense extra. I don't have to look at the endurance, because I know that uh, my endurance will go into the base defense. Okay, so I have that much space, 14 crit resist, and then 7 PvP defense over. Then how do I get 7k base off? Oh, I did not mean to unequip my boots, I meant to unequip my belt. So now I'm at 17 and then 8108. That means I'm that much base above. Oh, but I'm looking at the wrong base, oopsie. But, uh, oh well, doesn't matter. Then by taking off my belt, I lowered my crit resist by 5 and my HP by 2.3 and my
Now let's see what else can I take off. This is another 2.3 and then a 5. Okay, so I know what my stats are now. Okay, so by taking off my belt, I lowered my def base defense on my thing by the uh, 4.5k, but uh, what I need to look at is the base defense on the actual item, which was a 2080. So it changed by 4.50, and then I divided that by the 2.80. So then I know that my every one base defense on the item on the belt equals to 2.80 of base defense on uh, this. So then I'm going to take this number, then I'm off from that, and then divide. So I have a 1.3k base modifier, which would be like on the boots, for example. But what I should have, I have 4.6% HP below, then I have 4 crit resist and 7 PvP defense up. So I have 2.3 uh, defense stacks that I can put in, or under. That means that much of the base doesn't matter anymore, or the base difference. because I have 4.6% HP lower than I should so that is equivalent to 2.3 of the ratio I'm using here and then I take that 2.3 and multiply it by the 162 base defense And then I know that this time it goes in times that. Because that's how I change my def base stat into a this stat. That means I have 2,000 of this over. while still having 4 crit resist and 7 PV defense over. So I'm going to put that into my calculator, which is... I'm still missing 936 base mod. Or that's too, how much too high I am. Then I'm going to divide that by 162 because that's my ratio over here. Then 4 crit resist is 4 fifths or 0. Then 7 PV defense divided by 
Okay, so why I just changed the formatting is because it had uh, a rounding automatic, and uh, I want to use actual full numbers. So I have 10.9 of those stacks left. So for example, I could take off this, or these indoms, which I have 20 of, and then divide that by 1.6 and see what I get. Okay, so that would take me below. Let's see how much, uh, 15. And <clears throat> that would take me above. So then my equalized gear would be having no green crystals. I can alternatively lose, uh, Try taking off a ring and see how much that would take me. So four endurance, ten crit resist, and then uh, additional healing. I didn't factor additional healing in, but uh, we can just estimate. Oh, by the way, the reason why I went below is because I have etching three weapons, so I can't. So I have to always round down to something below Dreadnought, because that's going to make me closer to it. So let's see how much ring is. 4 and turn. Because 4 divided by 2. Then 10 crit resist. It's also 2 stacks. So I'd have to take off two rings, then I'd get to minus four, which would give me six. Let's see, that's how much one in dumb counts. So that'd get me eleven, or not eleven, nine, oops. So I'd have to take off two rings, and then I'd be losing two in doms at the same time. So I'd be losing 2.25 stacks, and my goal is 2.5. So that would be rounded down. Be that would be enough because I'm losing the healing and the MP. So I can have either four indoms gone, or have two rings gone, along with my belt and breech missing. I know that was a lot of math, but uh, if you actually want to get as close to being realistic actually dreadnought that's what you kind of need to do thanks for watching and i hope that uh, you at least try to attempt to do what i did